Google has just updated their Google Business Profile links, policies, and guidelines. So I wanna make sure that you are up to date on these changes. So you can make sure that you check in on your own profile or your client's profiles to make sure everything is good. Now there are four main changes that you want to be aware of. And the first of those is about a dedicated landing page. So here they cover that on their policies page. It says local business links must lead to a dedicated landing page for your business. So really this is all about about making sure that you are giving targeted information to the customers who are using the Google Business Profile. So for instance, when you have different places that you can include links throughout the business profile, you don't always want to just add in the business homepage. Rather, you wanna make sure that it is targeted. So if you are talking about a particular product, rather than use the homepage, you give them the link to that specific product page on the website. Same for services. Same if the business has multiple locations, do not use the main homepage for all of the different locations. Rather, make sure that you have set up dedicated landing pages for each of those locations and then use that URL for that particular location. Now, the next change that you want to be aware of is the direct action completion. So this is all about, again, giving the user that targeted information. So anytime that they can take an action, you want to make sure that you are giving them the link that is going to let them take that action specifically. So for instance, if they can place an order for a product, that URL that you should use should go directly to that order page. So this isn't just about orders. This of course can be if they're ordering the product, but if they are going to book an appointment or go to submit a contact form, that link needs to send them directly there. And they cover that here in this section about direct action completion. So it says local business links must allow customers to complete the designated action. So for example, an order link must not allow the customer to complete an order. So the big thing that you wanna make sure that you are not doing are these four things that they're mentioning here. The links cannot be social media sites, messaging links, app store links, and do not use any link shorteners, okay? We don't want to confuse any of the users, so we always wanna make sure that we're using the actual URL itself. Now the next one is about social media links. So as they were talking about here, you cannot use social media links throughout the profile. Now to make sure that you are clear on this, Google Business Profile does now allow you to add in a business's social media profiles. You can add in the links, but you wanna make sure that you are doing that in that dedicated section and not using those links in other places within the profile. Now, the last one is about crawlability, and this is very, very important because Google spends a lot of time covering that here. The first that they talk about here that you need to pay attention to is links that cannot be crawled by our automated tools may be removed. So you have got to make sure that all of the URLs that you use within the profile are actually crawlable. And they go into more specific detail as we come down here as well. So they talk about the crawlability requirements, but they also talk here about making sure all of these things are not happening. So the pages that you are using, the URLs, you make sure that they are not blocked in any way by robots.txt. Um, we're not using CAPTCHAs. We're not blocking with an, uh, certain IP addresses. We are not geo-blocking uh, any areas for this particular landing pages. These pages should be unrestricted. And they're kindly letting you know that if you do not follow these guidelines, that they can simply just go in and remove these URLs from the profile. So you definitely wanna make sure that you take some time, go into your profile, your client's profiles, and make sure that you are up to date with all of the links and using the best link for each place within the Google business profile. So I hope this helps keep you updated. I will link to this updated link policy and guidelines below. So if you want to take a closer look at this, you can. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you next time.